Okay, shake it up, this crazy rap. This ain't trap, this is something more jazzy with a bit of this electric and boom back Rambo. Get it, I messed up. I take that ammo and shoot him like this is confession band. And I know you ain't gonna stop. This is staying when I'm spitting whatever is needed. Okay, I see. Y'all been showing up late, delay. I ain't really present. What they wanna do say, alright, new says and I'm gone. You got a plaque when I'm getting on the ground. Wanna get plaques a little more than map. So lost, can't see through the fog. I'm going past what we need. I mean, sweet lies. I just realized I've been. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? My name's Brendan. We're about to react to EXO Sweet Lies. I'm going to react to the performance first, and then I'm going to look up the lyrics. But uh, let's get right to it. I'm definitely gonna run back some parts. It was really interesting that how stripped down the beat was, the instrumental. You know, I gotta hear the instrumental again because I'm already forgetting how it started and slowly evolved. But you know, I think it's also worth pointing out that 
just the dancing and the overall performance of this song was really spot on as far as you know matching the energy of the song there was a lot of slow-mo dancing and a lot of just oh no i just feel like everything kind of made sense the way they were moving with it so you know my favorite part's probably how the you know just how the subtlety of the instrumental kind of mixed with the their variation of vocals but that was just my first run through these are just my initial thoughts uh, let me run it back you know it starts off pretty slow pretty jazzy sounding all right, so right here, the instrumental kind of transitions out of that jazzy feel. You know, I feel like this song has a really seductive tone, you know, really sexually appealing mood to it. I think that's why they're going crazy <laughs> when they just put their, they put their jackets down their shoulders a little bit, you know. There's something really sonically pleasing about this moment right here. No, 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 baby, don't sing in the fire. <laughs> so he does that, but he makes it sound good. And then. No, 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 baby, don't say what a bad tie. Baby, don't say what a bad tie. And then as he continues to sing right here, he stays up in that head voice. Today the house is oh. Come on, man. This is a. <laughs> this is all for sexual appeal. Look at these moves. This is a sexually appealing, seductive song. It has now been confirmed. That's pretty cool. All right, guys. So I've written down kind of what Dio was doing to try to understand what he was doing, and it seems like he starts off with two longer lines that were kind of focused on setting up a, a bit of a melody where he goes Singapore that shit get mama judgy gana nah like oh my god you mana no and no kalaka ha so he sets those two up then right when he finishes the second line the instrumental cuts out and he goes Coca Vienna Vienna Achira Nora Mira Neda Hessa Gessa Kessa Hera Tegger De Walaya Vocha No I am a No I am Pretender Uh <laughs> Dio is being really smart here. He's using the instrumental to kind of key him in on when to change what he's doing. So you know when the instrumental cut out, right? He goes to the Coco Vienna Vienna, which is, you know, a completely different pace from the two prior lines. Then he goes a Chira Nora Mira. And right after he says Mira, then you get that. So he goes Coco Vienna Vienna, a Chira Nora Mira Neda. Hesa Gessa Kessa Hera. But when he goes into that Hesa Gessa Kessa Hera, when you know when he's switching the internal rhyme, there's like a which kind of you know makes it a little bit more smooth. And you know, after that, after the pretend, uh, you know, this is probably my favorite part of the song. It, it kind of gets more melodic again, but it's also, <laughs> I don't know, it sounds really good. I mean, that's. All right, now when he comes back in right here, he comes back in with the same pace and flow of the Coco Vienna Vienna, a children Lord and Mary and the head, except he ends it on a melodic note, which by the way sounds amazing. You know, it seems like this song, you know, after seeing all the lyrics, it's kind of dealing with this issue of when is it okay to lie to somebody? You know, that's not exactly what they're, you know, presenting in the song, but that's kind of what it's making me question. Is it okay to lie to them if they're better off hearing the lie versus the truth? I don't know, but uh, you guys already know I appreciate the suggestion. If you'd like some more XO reactions, please give me a thumbs up. My second channel is in the description, and thank you for watching.